Hi quilters, it's Pam Heller from AccuQuilt. I'm so excited to be with you today. We're getting ready to start our beautiful Batik Sampler Block of the Month project. Are you getting ready to go? Well, first of all, you can always use your rotary cutter and your ruler if you need to, to cut the pieces. But if you have our AccuQuilt system, let's go through a couple of things that you might wanna know before we get started. First of all, we're gonna use our eight inch cube today, and we'll talk about the details in that later. But you can also use your Go Baby fabric cutter, your Go Big fabric cutter, and your Go fabric cutter. So regardless of which cutter you have, you can make these block of the month. Now let's open up this Go fabric cutter and show you how easy it is to use and some tips and tricks as you're cutting fabric. First of all, you wanna make sure that your Go fabric cutter is laying on a solid surface. So I'm gonna move these pieces out of the way, set it up here so you can see. So it doesn't need any additional plates or anything else to make it work. All you need to do is run through the die. Each Go Fabric Cutter comes with a value die, a cutting mat. On the pattern on the back of the die, everyone comes with a pattern. It also comes with a die pick, which you can use to get the little strings and pieces of fabric that get stuck in your dies. You can take them right out. And then it comes with a mix and match block pattern ideas book. So 13 ideas right off the bat you can use your go cutter for. So let me give you some tips and tricks about how to use your dies. First of all, the two-tone foam here on our die shows you where those blades are. So I can push right here and feel those blades, but watch. I can run my hand over it and it's safe, easy to use. So the biggest thing you need to know is that the lengthwise grain of the fabric needs to travel back and forth across the machine. So the easiest way to do that is this to remember this. You wanna take the label and put it at your belly. You wanna take your fabric. So I've just cut some pieces of scrap fabric. So you notice here's my salvage edge. So this quilters is your lengthwise grain. So I'm gonna take that salvage edge and I'm gonna line it up here on the die. Now quilters, you wanna line it up just over that shape, not on the die board because we don't want you to waste fabric. So see how easy that was? I can cut up to six layers of cotton fabric in one pass. You can also cut other fabrics like flannel, felt, denim. Start with one or two of those layers to begin with. But here in our block of the month, we're only ever gonna cut our cotton fabric. So I'm gonna lay my cutting mat down on top. Now don't worry about this little tail. I'm just gonna kind of tuck it up here a little bit. I'm gonna turn the handle on our Go Fabric Cutter. Really easy to use. All right, so when we get to the other side, this is a huge tip. If you lift that cutting mat off, all the pieces are gonna fly everywhere. So here's my tip for you. You wanna take, run your hand across the top, slide that mat off, don't lift. And then look, we're gonna pull back the pieces. Ta-da! Now, something really great about AccuQuilt is that when we cut triangles or half square triangles, we cut off the dog ears for you. So this is a perfect quarter inch seam allowance. Quilters, when we're getting ready to do our block of the month, I would suggest you cut all your pieces first and then sew them together. You're gonna save so much time. So quilters, go ahead, get all your projects ready. We're gonna start our block of the month. This episode of Batik Sampler Block of the Month has been brought to you by Anthology Fabrics and AccuQuilt.